Okay, I'm going to try to keep this video real quick today. I added some new goodies to the Hellcat Pro recently, and I really just want to let you guys know how those are going. Before we get started, though, do me a solid and head over to my second channel and give me a subscription. You know, for the most part, this channel, I keep long-form review-type videos. I try not to clutter it up too much with shorts. That's what my second channel is for. That's all shorts, range footage, uh, the occasional uh, blooper footage. Over on the second channel, I'll go ahead and, and post little previews of what's to come here on this channel. Right now, I'm trying to get it up over a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed already, do me a solid. So you guys know already that I friggin' love the Hellcat Pro. Of all the firearms that I've tested out here in the last few years, this is my number one uh, in terms of concealed carry. It's got a great capacity without having to use any silly mag extensions or pinky extensions like some other guns have to use. It's optic ready. The grip texture, to me, is perfect. The barrel length is just long enough that it performs very similarly to some of the 4-inch guns like, say, the M&P 2.0 or perhaps Glock 19. Best of all, though, this gun is slim, and I mean super slim. That slim profile that Springfield gave this gun, that's what makes it so easy and comfortable to conceal carry. Honestly, in my mind, the only thing that could beat the Hellcat Pro at this point would be if Smith & Wesson did a complete redesign of the M&P and slimmed it down to like a one inch profile similar to what the Hellcat Pro is. That would be the ultimate concealed carry gun. So you guys know I have been testing out different upgrades here and there on this gun based on primarily some of the comments that you guys are leaving, requests that you've made. One of the ones that I've been asked about the most is this guy right here, the Apex threaded barrel. As far as that threaded barrel for the Hellcat Pro goes, I went ahead and got my hands on one of the uh, blemish models. Once in a while this stuff happens. You know, they send a batch of parts off to have the finish put on and, you know, one or two or however many out of the batch will end up having a little cosmetic defect. Maybe a smudge, maybe a scratch, you never know. These blemish parts, as far as function goes, they are no different from any other parts, whether that be, you know, a trigger or a barrel or whatever. The only real difference is that you're going to get it at a slightly better price. That, of course, is because they have small cosmetic flaws. But when you think about it, if you install a barrel into a gun and you're actually using it on a regular basis, it's going to get scratched up and dinged up anyway. So you might as well save yourself some money if you can get on there and find one of these things in stock. Of course, with it being a threaded barrel, it is slightly longer than the barrel that comes with the Hellcat Pro. That's pretty obvious, right? I mean, if you want a threaded barrel, it's got to come out past the end of the slide away so they can thread it and you have room to put on whatever attachments it is you want to attach to the gun. There are, of course, some positives and negatives when it comes to, you know, having a slightly longer barrel on a gun like this. But let's go ahead and let's start by talking about some of the performance on this barrel. All in all, the Apex threaded barrel, it's going to perform just like your stock barrel. Accuracy? Yeah, it might be a little bit more accurate than what comes with the Hellcat Pro. You'd probably never notice the difference, to be perfectly honest. You're, if you're at the range and you're taking slow, methodic shots at your standard paper target, it's going to perform the same. That extra half inch of barrel length or whatever it is, 0.625 or whatever, I feel like it does tame the recoil just, just a little bit. Most people aren't going to notice the difference. It's, it's not a night and day difference. The only reason that I notice the difference is because I've put a literal crap ton of rounds through this gun. I shoot it almost every weekend. So when I swap out to a different barrel that's, you know, basically a half inch longer, I notice those slight differences in the shooting characteristics. I notice that when I'm taking multiple shots, my groups are just a little bit tighter, and I'm able to do that with just a slightly faster cadence. Now, it's not like I've put a couple thousand rounds through the Apex barrel. I may be four or maybe 500 rounds in so far. But so far, I can tell I like the way that this barrel handles. I am looking at different comps to put onto the Hellcat Pro. Uh, just please be patient. I'll have something for you guys soon. I want to make sure that whatever comp it is that I decide to put on it um, is going to be the right fit and the, the right comp for this gun. Um, I don't want you guys to buy something that's... I don't know, really not going to work out for you the way that you expect it to. 
So one of the things that really gets me about adding a comp uh, to a pistol is that you're adding all this excess to the end of it. I'll probably go into depth a little bit more on my opinion on that. Um, I want to do a video soon about uh, comp versus porting. But basically, once you add a threaded barrel or a comp uh, to your gun, you may not be able to use your same holster anymore. Well, without some sort of modification. And if you're just adding the threaded barrel, you may be able to get by. But if you're adding a comp to your pistol, good luck finding a holster solution that actually works well. Nothing a bandsaw and some sandpaper can't fix, though, I guess. Regardless, though, when it's all said and done with, what you're left with is overhang. Now, I have five holsters for the Hellcat Pro, and only two of them work with the threaded barrel. And if you're curious, it is the G-Code Phenom holsters, and that's pretty much because the front side here is cut away to give you full access. The problem is, though, of course, you still have a half inch of barrel hanging out over the end of the holster. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. I carry appendix like most of us do. And to be honest, I could probably stand to lose a few pounds. That extra weight around the midsection, it pushes out on the grip of the gun, which then creates an issue where the threaded barrel wants to dig into my body. As a side note, I did recently order uh, this wedge kit from Filster. I'll be doing a review on that. I'm testing it out right now. I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks, I'll have that out to you guys. I've been using this Phenom holster with the Filster wedge kit for, oh, well, as of recording this video, a week now. And I think I have a pretty good assessment of that wedge kit. So that should be within the next two to three videos. So that's it. Those are the drawbacks. You have holster compatibility. Uh, you have uh, availability of accessories. And of course, you have that overhang over the edge of the holster, which when you sit down or lean forward, makes for a pretty uncomfortable situation. On the other hand, I do feel like the extra length on the threaded barrel does change the performance somewhat. Uh, may not be noticeable to you, but it is to me because I shoot the gun so much. Is it worth the price? Is it worth those negatives or drawbacks that I listed? That's a tough one, and I really can't say whether it is or isn't for you. It's going to depend on how much you want a threaded barrel and whether or not you're actually going to use it to its full potential. Me, I really like the threaded barrel, even though it's presented some new challenges to me in how I have to carry the gun. And you know what? To be perfectly honest, the threaded barrel looks pretty cool on this gun. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's worth it to me. If I had to do it all over again, I would definitely buy it. The other upgrade that I recently put on the Hellcat Pro, and this is one that I'm very excited about, it is by a company called Lakeline LLC, and that's their extended slide release. Big shout out to Lakeline. They are a local company here in Washington. Seriously, they're like two hours across the mountains from me. I didn't even know the company existed. Um, seriously, it is a very small company. They don't know me. I don't know them. They didn't send me any free products. I don't, you know, earn a commission if you buy anything from them. This is just a company that I want to see all of you Hellcat owners go over and check out. You guys know me. I am a huge supporter of small businesses. And that's especially true when it comes to a small business that's making a great product like this extended slide release. So the Hellcat Pro is supposed to be the ultimate in concealed carry, and I 100% believe that is true. The profile of this gun is super slim so that you get less printing. Uh, everything is tucked in nice and tight. Everything from the takedown lever to the mag release and the slide release. The design was done this way so that it doesn't add any more overall width to it than it absolutely needs to have. Uh, you don't have anything poking out that's gonna get snagged on anything, you know, when you're pulling it out of the holster, reholstering. Um, it's, it's streamlined. One of the things that's driven me crazy since I bought the gun is that slide release though. They went a little bit overboard with it. It is so flat against the frame that it almost feels like I, I don't feel it when I go to use it. At times, it's actually hard to manipulate that slide release and, and actually get it to 
do the job that it's supposed to do. I looked and looked and looked, trying to find something that I could replace it with. Uh, I couldn't find anything out there. And then at some point, somebody left a comment. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. Uh, somebody left a comment somewhere on one of my videos to go check out Lakeline LLC. And I'm glad that I did. Adding this extended slide release is probably the second best thing that you could do to a Hellcat or Hellcat Pro. Apex flat face trigger is number one. The Lakeline LLC extended slide release, it is a close second. Now, a lot of these guns that are made to be serious concealed carry guns, they have to sacrifice in certain areas. Either the grip is cut super short, uh, and, and then you have to add pinky extensions to the magazines in order to actually get your hand on the gun, or they'll go with a crazy short barrel that's just nothing but recoil. Uh, and, and, and incredibly hard to manage. All the controls on the gun, they'll usually be so close to the frame uh, that, that they're hard to use, and that's how it felt with the Hellcat Pro. This extended slide release, it makes a drastic difference, and I am really glad uh, that I got turned on to the Lakeline LLC website. I love that this extended slide release is extended without being obnoxious or in the way. I don't have to worry about it snagging on stuff. It doesn't need any type of special holster accommodations. It, it works just fine with every holster that I have. It's relatively easy to install, and it's a decent price. Remember, this is not a multinational corporation pumping these uh, parts out in some third world country. No, this is a small outfit in Chelan, Washington. And for what you're getting in terms of quality and usability, the slide release is worth every penny. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave a link below in the description to Lakeline LLC. And if you own a Hellcat or a Hellcat Pro, you have got to go over there and check these things out. Put one in the cart, check out, or you can thank me later. You know, I'm starting to run out of things to do with this gun. But don't worry, we aren't done yet. I love the Hellcat Pro and I'm going to keep testing out different parts for it. In fact, I'm pretty excited about the next one, the next big upgrade for the Hellcat Pro, and believe me, it's going to be big. It is sitting on a FedEx truck halfway around the world as we speak, waiting to get onto a plane and be shipped all the way out here to the great Pacific Northwest for me to do some testing and reviewing. By the time this video actually gets posted and goes live on the channel, I will have that next upgrade in hand and uh, I should have some testing done on it. Now, I don't wanna give anything away here on this channel, but if you're subscribed over to the Shorts channel, when this next product comes in, you get a little sneak peek. Anyways, look, you cannot go wrong with a Hellcat Pro. If you own one, whether it is the Hellcat or Hellcat Pro, you need to click that link below, head over to Lakeline LLC, and check out that extended slide release. Apex, well, I'll leave a link for that as well. Uh, you guys know that I am an affiliate with Apex, so if you click my link and then you buy something, I make a buck or two. As far as Apex products go, Apex is never a bad idea when it comes to upgrading. So click some links, buy some products, subscribe, and stay tuned because the next time that you see this Hellcat Pro, it's going to have an upgrade that you do not want to miss. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's it for today. Stay safe out there.